D-S-L-R Film. Noob. So what we've got here today is this guy right here. This is an adjustable, flexible DSLR shoulder rig, movie rig. It's got all kinds of names. I don't actually know what the real name for this guy is. You can find it on eBay and Amazon. It used to be called X-Rig or something like that, but now it goes by all kinds of labels. Basically, it is a rig that doesn't use 15 millimeter rails. It has three soft arms that flip out like so and it can be configured into a shoulder rig, a cage for your DSLR, and all kinds of other strange shapes and devices so that you can use it for whatever you want. It's also extremely cheap. This thing runs about 60 to 85 dollars sometimes a hundred dollars if you get it with a few extra accessories and has tons of mounting options it's one of the cheapest rigs on the market so let's check it out so the shoulder rig comes with this little guy right here which is basically a kind of quick release type of deal to attach your camera but if you thread it on your camera you'll notice that the stud is too long and it actually doesn't snug up against your camera allowing your camera to flop around Basically what you need to do for this is to add an actual quick release plate. Right here I have the Manfrotto 501 adapter plate that I normally use on most of my equipment. Now the other thing about this is that when you thread this on, you're only gonna have one point of connection. So it's not gonna, not gonna lock down real well and it can still spin around on you if you don't tighten it down good enough. I've actually added an extra quarter 20 to the front of this right here so that I have two positions to mount my quick release plate to. That way I can attach this firmly and have two points of connection so that it can't twist or rotate on me while I'm using it. One of the things you get with the kit is this little Allen key right here. This Allen key is used to tighten down and snug up these arms that move around. As they come in the kit, they are a bit snug, but they're not strong enough to stay in place all the time if you're shooting and have any kind of weight or pressure on them. I found that even though this is snug right now, with a little bit of force, I can move this into a different position, which means it could move around really easily while I'm filming with the rig. If you use this guy right here to tighten this down, just be very careful. These Allens strip out fairly easily. Thankfully, you can replace these with uh, stuff from your local hardware store, but you still have to be careful about over tightening them because there's a little bushing right here that has the threads on the other side. If you strip that out, then you're SOL. Another portion of the rig that I've had problems with coming loose is this section right here. This whole thing basically just twists into a quarter 20 mount. There's no lock nut or anything like that holding it in. And you can just twist this entire thing out and that's pretty much all that's holding it in place. I suggest if you want to make sure this doesn't move around that maybe you add a dab of Loctite or something like that to keep this from coming loose. This guy is a veritable smorgasbord of adjustments. You've got a telescoping arm right here that allows you to either mount the rig at eye level like so or drop the entire rig down to a lower position like this so you kind of have a gun shooter style to it. You can flip these arms around if you feel that's more convenient. Each of these arms rotates at 180 degrees from their swivel mount so you can go pretty much any direction you want. Basically, if you can think of a configuration you might want to put this into, you can do it. This thing also has quarter 20 mounts at the top and bottom of each of these handles right here. So you can use those to adapt to monitors or audio equipment like a microphone or a field recorder or something like that. Maybe even an LED light if that's your thing. These guys are very flexible, very adjustable. One of the things I will warn you about though is that these Allens right here, once you tighten them down, I would leave them where they are. If you start messing around with these a lot, these strip out very easy. I stripped out one already just messing around with this and tightening it down. So if you're headed out for a shoot, I would say put this into the position that you want and then leave it there until you're done. Otherwise, I would recommend replacing the hardware right here with Allens that don't have the star pattern that are easier to strip out like the ones that are on here. Just make sure you don't damage the bushing that's located on the other side and you should be good to go. A number you will probably be tempted to use this as a shoulder rig, and that's fine, but it is going to be a little bit front heavy, especially if you have the uh, shoulder brace extended all the way out. It's gonna put a lot of the weight in the front and not give you very much balance. You're gonna wanna add something as a counterweight to this guy. Right here is a bunch of washers on a quarter 20 bolt that are basically uh, 
super glued together and then hooked up with this extra nut to tighten them down. You can take this and thread it into the back of the quarter 20 adapter. And now you have a good balanced kind of feel to this rig. Uh, you can pick up those washers at your local hardware store and a quarter 20 bolt should be pretty easy to find. I recommend you do that if you want to make this rig balance out a little bit better as a shoulder rig. This thing has a lot of perks, including the fact that it's very small. It can easily fit into a camera bag with other camera gear without crowding out some other important stuff. This thing is also very ergonomic. You can shape it however you want. On the downside, it does have very cheap hardware. You can easily break these plastic knobs that are located all over this thing and the Allen heads do over tighten and strip out on you if you're not careful. So just keep an eye on that. For a low end rig, this is a very good deal. I would like to see a high end version of this, something in the maybe $300 range that has all the same features, but is built extra heavy duty and has a few more articulating spots. Overall, I think this is a pretty good deal for the price. I'll have information and a full write-up over at DSLRFilmNoob.com, along with links to where you can pick this guy up in the crotch bar below. As always, thanks for watching. And if you like this content, please subscribe. Oh.